Deflation is something that doesn't happen often. Everything gets cheaper. Coffee, shoes, bicycles. This makes consumers happy, but there's a dark side. In the long run, it's bad for the economy because it means deflation. With deflation, prices fall and you get more for your money, but the money supply also decreases. That's exactly the opposite of its counterpart, inflation. Here, prices increase at the same high rate as the money supply. In deflation, products, food, and houses lose value continuously. But no one can afford to buy them anymore because they don't have enough money. How does this happen? Consumers hear there's a crisis, become worried, and buy less. Companies can't sell their products, so they're forced to lower their prices. But they can no longer cover their production costs. They must cut wages and lay off employees. In the end, only a few people have money. And they're reluctant to spend it because they're waiting for prices to fall even further. The result is a deflationary spiral that drags everything into the abyss. And what can be done to prevent this from happening? Central banks can cut their interest rates. They hope this will bring more money into circulation and encourage borrowing and stop deflation in its tracks. <laughs>